Jen, your pudgy picker, at my desk with another haul from Savers. It's Monday. What else would I do? <laughs> so I went to the thrift store this morning, walked around. I usually do like hard goods and that kind of stuff, and then purses, and then I do clothes last. I wasn't finding much, but I found a lot of clothes. So those of you who like clothes, good. <laughs> those of you who don't, I apologize. <laughs> So I'm going to show you the clothes first, and then I'm going to go to the other goods that I got. Now, I was doing this. I got a hair in my face. I was doing this last night, and I was a mess, so I didn't record. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and price the hard goods, and then I will keep the original tag on just to show you what I've actually tagged it for. Because I know I'm like, well, I'll probably get this or that. So I already priced these items, so that's what we'll do. As far as the shirts... I, I mostly just go on gut when I list them as to how much they should be. If it's a brand I haven't heard of or it feels a little bit more, you know, expensive or whatever, then I'll look it up. So I have a, a bunch in my lap and I have more in my bag. So let's jump right in. So the first item I got is, could be like a dress or even like a swimsuit cover-up, probably swimsuit cover-up. It's a specific beach, so that makes me believe that it is a swimsuit cover-up. So it was $7.99, it's a 3X, so it was $4. It's a V-neck, and here's what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? So it has these where it's a little bit see-through, and then parts where it's not see-through. Uh, Three-quarter sleeves, uh, and then it's about that long. So probably down to the knees, I would guess. So there's that. Um... I found a whole bunch of Catherine shirts, so I don't know if somebody did a closet clean out. But uh, this one is a 5X Catherine's. It was $3.29, another weird amount. So what is that? Um, $1.50, $1.65, $75, something like that. So it's like this paisley print in blue. Uh, it is short sleeve, uh, scratchy as most Catherine items are. Uh, there's this one. This is also a Catherine's 3X, $4.49, so it was two and a quarter. Very pretty. I love the teal with the, uh, you know, the uh, tropical flowers on it. So again, stretchy, short sleeve. Looks nice. This one, I've seen this before. They do look like they run a little small to me. Well, it's a 2X. This is an Anthony Richards. I've seen a couple other things and I like them. So these next two shirts were both $7.99. They're both 2X. And here's what this first one looks like. It's a V-neck. Um, looks like three-quarter sleeves. And it looks like a plain top, but then it's got this, this little uh, you know, print on the bottom. And it's got the hanky hem, how it hangs a little lower. Now, hanky hem is like this. A high-low would be it's higher in the front, lower in the back. That's what they describe. Again, this is the same size, same price, same everything. But it has this design on it. So it's got the pretty florals. Again, three-quarters. It's like a t-shirt knit material. You know, I don't really mind buying stuff when it's out of season. I list all year round. This one feels more pilly. You know, when you uh, have a fabric or something and it gets rubbed a lot and it's got those little balls on it, that's called pilling. So this one has a little bit of pilling on it. So I don't know. If it's something easy, I can use my little shaver or I'll just disclose and knock a few bucks off. This was $5.29. That's a Catherine's 2X. So it was $250, $260, $575, something like that. So it's basically like this, this uh, knit, like a light sweater, three-quarter sleeves. And it's got the uneven hem or hanky hem at the bottom. This one is really pretty. This was $7.29, so $350, $365. Tara and Sky, it's a 2X. Um, it's very pretty. So the sleeves look like this and they're not lined and then the main body of it is lined and then there's like ruffles at the bottom like layers and it does have stretch to it believe it or not that's very pretty that would be pretty with a skirt or you know dress pants um let's see this is knox rose it's an extra extra large so a 2x 529 so i'm not doing the math anymore i quit <laughs> 
So it's kind of this rusty red color uh, floral. Well, is that paisley? Probably paisley floral. Uh, long sleeve, but they're real pretty. They got this bell, that's a bell sleeve. And then it has this little embroider, embroidery area there. And I have that along the bottom as well and a little bit of lace. Not stretchy. You know, I've been taken to, recently when I list things, I put uh, stretchy or not stretchy, because I know it's important to us bigger girls, because some like it and some do not. I think that's true with everybody, probably. Um, this is a Catherine's. I think they took the size out. So if the size is not in the neck, you want to look on a side seam. And usually it is there, but it is not. So I will measure this and compare it to other, um, other Catherine's that I have. Catherine's run a little bit bigger, I think. So this one was 529. So here's what it looks like. It's very stretchy. It's a little bit of an, almost like an itchy, I hate to say itchy material, but it's got this layered look in the front and the back, of course. So there's what it looks like. And then um, long sleeve. So yeah. And this one has like an angled hem on it, if you can see that. This one is was 529. It is a Emma, simply Emma 2X. And so it's a knit top, like a V-neck hanky hem again, three-quarter sleeves in this really pretty leopard print. Isn't that pretty? Maybe they're long sleeve. No, they're three-quarter. So that's pretty. And let's go on to the next batch. My arms are getting tired. <laughs> Okay, so this next one is a Woman Within. Uh, it is, I don't see the size, I don't know. Let me look, always look on the side. Here it is, it is, uh, I can't read it. That was extremely helpful. Woman Within also runs a little bit large, by the way. This one was $7.99 love the purples. Isn't that pretty? Three-quarter sleeve. I really like this one. Should I try this one on? I don't know. Maybe. We'll think about it. Um, this one is a pin tuck tunic by Avenue. Avenue stuff is priced so high, but the, uh, the word Avenue on this is so small, they just missed it. They're putting $14 and $15 on Avenue stuff. Crazy. So this one somehow got by them because they didn't look at it, and it was $5.29, so I paid half of that. This is a $30.32. So there's what that looks like. Three-quarter sleeve. It's got this round, I don't know, like a round neck with this little detail on it. Now, if you look real close, see it says pin tuck tunic. And then real small, it says Avenue right there. So that's why they didn't catch that. Um, Catherine's one of the stamped tops. This is a 3X. Someone just told me in a video not too long ago what they called this. I always called it stamped, but I'm sure it has some fancy name. Uh, 3X, I paid $2.99. So, no, it was $2.99, I paid $1.50. So there's what that looks like. It's stretchy, of course. Three quarter sleeves, hanky hem. Isn't that pretty? Nice. Um, another Catherine's 2X. This one was $5.29. So it's a round neck and it's, I don't know, it's a gray, maybe gray and white. Three quarter sleeves. Um, this one is a Catherine's 4X 529. I paid half. Uh, I don't know. Some of these can be kind of basic, but I don't think everybody wants a flashy top for everyday wear. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not here to judge. So it's a V-neck and it's got these uh, little metal studs detail. There's that. Ooh, another purple top. Catherine's. This is a 4X 529. Now the cool thing about this, three-quarter sleeves, is 
Is this the one? No. I thought there was one that it looked like it was a jacket or something over it. Maybe I'm thinking of a different one. No. But it's got these details on the front. And of course, stretchy. Oh, isn't that pretty? It's too big, but it's pretty. Too big for me. Um, 529, this one is a Catherine's. I'm so glad that they've gone down on Catherine's price because Catherine still does sell pretty well for me. This one is a 3X. And then it's got this little detailing in the front with the buttons. You can't, it's hard to see, but it's got like a, I don't know, almost like an embroidery kind of piece there. Long sleeve. This one I really like, but I'm wondering if it's going to be too big. I've chubbed out of here a little bit recently. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I appreciate it. I'm working on that. <laughs> 329 This is one that I, I had seen before, and I think it was like a 1X, and it didn't fit. And I was like, I really like it. So this one is a 3X Catherine's, but I just love the design on there. It's all these umbrellas. Isn't that cute? So this is a V-neck t-shirt, short sleeve. Oh, I might just have to try that on. This one's cute too. This is a, oh, this is unbranded, but I thought it was cute. $4.49, so I paid two and a quarter. Uh, it's this uh, gray t-shirt. It says, whisper words of wisdom, let it be, with a butterfly on it. Isn't that sweet? So just a basic t-shirt, short sleeve got some stretch to it I don't know I looked at this one and it, it's hard when you resell especially clothes you look at something and you go eh, that's not really pretty but you gotta buy because there's a lot of people that like stuff that you don't like so this is one I was kind of like I don't know it's kind of ugly but I mean if you like it I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rag on you about it so this is a Liz and me which is also Catherine's 4x that was another reason I'm like well it's a 4x I should get it $4.29, also a good price, so paid $2.15, and it's this gray t-shirt, it's got some stretch, and it looks like paisley, short sleeve, so I don't know, I mean, it's, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but there it is, this last one is really pretty, I like it, this one listed, because somebody will wear this for summer, it was a little more than I wanted to pay, it was $8.79, so I paid $4.40 for it, and it is a pure energy. It is a dress. And it has this stretchy part here. And then it's a very long knit in this royal blue color. And then it has um, ties. So you can, you know, you can, you know, bunch that up in the middle. You can, you know, put it around your neck like a halter style. So I will probably style it in different ways when I photograph it. But I just thought that was so pretty. So basically, I don't know, sundress. Not really a sundress. Maxi dress. Maxi dress are really long. So that is all the clothes that I have. That's a lot. <laughs> so uh, I think what I might do is try on those two for you. You want to do that? Let's do that. Okay. Yeah. Sadly, it fits. I mean, I mean, sadly. I'm just, I'm working on my weight again because it's gotten a little bit away from me. So, isn't it pretty though? Oh, this will look nice with some little jean shorts. So, let's try on the next one. Now, I really like this one, but am I gonna wanna have a three quarter sleeve shirt right now with the weather getting better? But it's cute, I like it. You know me in purple and tie dye. So, I don't know, what do you think? Should I keep it? Let's move on. Okay, so we're done with that. Let's go on to the hard goods. My bangs are not behaving today. And I cut my hair yesterday. So I'm still working on styling it. Okay, I did get another apron for, uh, for when I'm working at the store because my other one is not working. It's not working out. So I got this one, just basic, you know. We have to carry numbers and a pen and a tape measure and other stuff. We have numbers, so we don't have carts in the store. We'll have, we have like the carry ones, but we have hold shelves. So if we're walking around and there's somebody carrying something, we give them a number. 
we take the matching number and we put it up front so when they're ready to check out it's all there and ready so that's what the numbers are this one was uh, was marked $3.99 so I paid two I put eight dollars on it and it says keys and it has two little hooks and it's got this you know the metal tile look to it and that's sweet so there's that oh uh, I didn't put you know what I did check this and it did work in fact I was in line at store and I was like I'm like you know what I've had a couple clocks recently not work for me so the flip-flop one I showed you that one did work fine but this one I reached in my bag real quick I was literally standing at the checkouts and I was like yeah it's ticking so this one was $5.99 so I paid three it's very pretty it has this wood look I mean it looks like wood but I think it's plastic but that's okay it's on the wall nobody knows so I put eight dollars on this it's a Howard Miller so yeah so that one's nice and doing really good with my clocks remember I had those two gray ones I took out and I was like, well, one was a little scratch, so I fixed it. Both of them sold in the same day. So I'm like, I don't know if somebody saw them and was like, matching clocks. Who knows? This one I love. I put $6 on this. The uh, price that is on it is $2.49. So I paid dollar and a quarter, and it says coffee, because punching you in the face is illegal. <laughs> I love stuff like this, and the inside's brown. I don't know. It's funny. Now that I've moved my bug, my mugs, they seem to be selling really well. So that one will go. Um, I have like an extra one or two. And then if I go in and a few have sold, I can kind of make it, you know, look nice. But I'm always kind of on the lookout, but I'm extremely picky about which ones to pick up because there's so many cute ones out there. But, you know, something like this, you could, ah, I want to use that or, oh, I could give that to so-and-so. So that should be good. Um, this was a dollar fifty. Hi. <laughs> so here's what it looks like. It's the galvanized metal. It has uh, places to hang it. But I just thought that was cute. We used to have somebody in our mall that did the letters, and they did separate letters, and then they did several like ones that said C L E for Cleveland, or uh, well, it used to be the Indians or the Browns or just letters so you could buy and just, you know, make out your own. But I just thought that was cute. So that will go out to my booth and I put $10 on it. Um, these I have bought and sold before. I put $10 on this. It was $2.50 and it's this globe, which is funny to me because on the bottom, I mean, after you take the sticker off, because I've sold these before. This is funny. It says, Globes are not meant for educational purposes, but only decorative purposes. Because <laughs> you can see people looking and going, Wait a minute. Alaska looks really small on here. Wow, it does look really small on here. Look how small Alaska looks. <laughs> Compared to the U.S. This is why kids are confused. <laughs> that is so funny because the ones I have seen, it's always been Alaska. And Alaska's like this itty bitty little. I mean, it looks like the size of Texas. And that that's just that makes me laugh. Oh well. Somebody will buy this and put this on a shelf and they'll think it looks pretty and everybody will be happy. I just think that's funny. It's not for educational purposes. Yeah, because somebody in the United States, I know how we are here in the States, we'll sue anybody for anything and we'll be like, well, I'm going to sue you because you, you misled us on how big Alaska is. It makes no sense. That's so funny. Now, you know what? No matter what time of year it is, I'm always thinking of fall and winter and summer. But I saw these and they were just too cute to pass up. They were both $4.49. So basically I paid $4.49 for both. Aren't they sweet? So they're kind of, they have like a foam, but they're kind of not super light, but they have this cardigan, or not cardigan, like cable knit sweater uh, design on there. And oh, I just love them. So these uh, I marked eight, and then this one I marked seven. I was thinking about marking them to go together, but. <clears throat> Unless something is a matching set, you kind of don't want to sell them together because somebody's like, oh, I really like that one, but I don't like that one. 
So yeah, so I'll take those off. And those will go in my fall stuff, and they're already priced and ready to go. Um, I love me some chickens. I had a big metal chicken in my booth for like $22, and it sat there, and it was constantly moving. So people were touching it. It finally sold. And then I had a big ceramic uh, white, off-white chicken that had like, it looked like it was, you know, distressed. And that sold. And then I had those two that I showed you that were kind of similar, but they're like mirror images of each other. I still have those, but I saw this, and I thought, he's a very neutral chicken. So it's just this plain white resin chicken. I put nine on him. He was only $2.50. I don't know. I don't know where he was originally from. Does it say? No. So I just thought that was adorable. And people, a lot of people like, you know, figurines, and especially if it's like a monochromatic or white. Uh, so there, he's got a price on his butt but I thought that was cute it was a little dirty so I cleaned it up real good but not too bad so that will go out price stickers everywhere now this is funny in fact I didn't even notice that it had a price tag on it like an original tag until I got it home um, so it was two dollars and then I put 850 on it and it's just this little blue metal barn lantern. It's got a little place for a tea light, and there is a tea light in there. But I just thought that was sweet. That'll go in my little farmhouse area. And somebody will love to own that. So I think I got, what, one more item? Now this I saw, and I thought it was so cute. Somebody's going to love it. I priced this at... $14 and it was $4.99 so I paid $2.50. Look at this little piggy. She's so pudgy. <laughs> and her pretty blue eyes. Oh, So uh, I would like to thank uh, Denise. Denise made this in 1977. <laughs> so I was just tickled with that and I thought, you know, people like the old cats and stuff. So some of this, this older you know, ceramics. They probably just went in and then, you know, took it, painted it, and had it fired. But I just thought that was just too adorable. She was pretty dirty, too. <clears throat> in fact, she had a couple marks on. I had to get the magic eraser. But she turned out beautiful, and she will go into my booth, and she will find a happy home. Look at her little footsies. Oh, she's so cute. So I believe that's all I got. Uh, a lot of clothes today. You know, you just never know till you go. In fact, it's funny. I'll walk around all day with these. It's funny because uh, there's two other vendors that are there every Monday also. And uh, one of the vendors uh, does toys, and then the other vendor does a lot of glass. She's kind of, you know, trying to, you know, expand out a little bit. But uh, I see them every week. They're like, you know, it's like the, you know, the checking in, you know, hey, how you doing? Oh, good to see you. Did you find anything good? No, I didn't find anything good. So we'll go by and look at each other's cards. Ooh, you got a lot of stuff. You're doing good. So uh, the one vendor, I was like, oh, I hope you find good stuff. And I said, as long as I don't want it. <laughs> he just laughed. So yeah. Oh, I just love this piggy. She's so cute. But uh, I guess that's it. That's all. I'm going to get this uh, stuff ready. I got this all priced, so I'm just going to go ahead and take off the price tag so this can go out to my store this week and then I got to get all the tags off the clothes and then take them down I'm still doing my laundry from cleaning on Mondays so I will be uh, getting those ready and then hang them up in my closet and then round two I still have literally 40 shirts 43 listed in my draft folder on eBay and then each day I just push out five so to keep that consistency of listing regularly and it's been working really well for me so I'll keep doing that <laughs> and then once I do that so that'll keep eBay busy then I can work on my booth then today I spent like an hour downstairs I, I just whenever I get all this stuff ready it's in my big my big marks bags I love these bags you know I should do a giveaway with those bags People love them. But anyway, hey, if you're interested, let me know. Maybe I'll do a Mark's bag giveaway. But these things are great. I love them. I use them for grad sale and I use them for when I go thrifting. I'll even occasionally put my laundry in them to take them downstairs if I don't have a basket. 
Um, I'm always lugging stuff around. And when I get stuff listed, I put it in there and take those down. So I literally had like 10 Mark Specs everywhere. And I was like, I really have to get this taken care of. So I spent an hour, I took down some boxes and then I put in my inventory and got that stuff. So, whew. and I've had a lot of sales, so I got that already. So I'm going to be shooting out to go and uh, deliver that stuff to the post office. So it's a busy day, but you know, it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad when you love what you do. There's certain parts of every job, even if you love your job, there's certain parts you're like, eh. So I don't know. It's that way with everything. So again, show me in the comments, tell me what you liked, what would you have picked up, uh, what items uh, did you see that were like, eh, no, not really interested. Um, and do you like my coffee mug? I don't really drink coffee that much. Once in a while, I'm definitely one of those people that in, instead of getting up and I, and I reach for my coffee mug, I reach for, I have Coke Zero in here, but I reach for my Diet Pop because... I have an addiction, and I've given up many addictions, and I'm not going to give up my pop. I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> okay, enough rambling. I will, uh, I'm going to have to do a video where I just sit and yap, because I'm feeling the yappies coming on, you know? So if you stayed till the very end, you are a real trooper, and I do appreciate you. <laughs> Ooh, there's a blue jay in my backyard. Anyway, I'm just like, woo, 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 the squirrel, look. So I'm going to get busy, get this stuff done, and I will see you on the next video. And, uh, oh, also, also, two days from now, two days from now, Wednesday, you're going to be getting the video. I got it done. I got it uh, put up, and it's just ready. It's going to be scheduled for 3 o'clock. By the way, the video that went up at 3 a.m., I apologize. <laughs> I was really tired one night and I'm just like, yeah, your schedule. And then it popped up and I woke up to comments and I'm like, what? What's going on? So yeah, 3 a.m. Keep you on your toes. So two days from now is the mystery bag, women's mystery bag, how, what I put in them, how I make them, how I price them, how I package them. And I even show you in my booth where they sit. Now, that being said, <laughs> I worked on this video I'm not super great at editing. I worked really hard on this and I somehow stretched or did something to the last clip of literally 14 seconds of walking into my booth and saying, here's how I have them set up. Here's where they're sitting. And that clip repeats four times. And I don't know what I did, but it was the last clip and I'd edited the heck out of this thing. And I was like, you know what? Don't care. <laughs> so we'll see how many of you pay attention and not say, hey, the last clip hit. Repeat it four times. Well, hey, at least I'll know if you're watching it all the way to the end or not. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Okay, so I'm going to let you go. I will see you next time. Make sure you tune into that Wednesday, the 10th, for that video, because I know a lot of you have been asking. And I want you to see all these Goodwill finds that I'm putting into, the ba into these bags. And then later, probably in the next week or so, I'm going to do a guy's one. But I'm only going to show you what I'm putting in them because I'm going to refer everybody back to this video that's coming out Wednesday. So look forward to that. I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, click the bell, get notifications, and also share this video if you can. If you know anybody who likes any kind of this stuff, please, please share it on your social media, uh, share it to your Facebook, and uh, I will see you guys next time. And until then, happy Viking!